Today's hike here is at Rockhound State Park in New Mexico, and I am at the top of Lover's Leap Trail. Check it out. Here's a little peek at the trails at Rockhound State Park in New Mexico, near Dimming, New Mexico. Just a little drive off of I-10. We have a campground here, bonus. Let's check it out. That is the visitor center, and that's where this trail starts. This is the Jasper Trail. It's half a mile, it'll take us up to the campground, and then we'll join the Thunder Egg Trail. It is like a mile and change. But the cool thing about this park is you are allowed to look for rocks. I mean, not wheelbarrows and uh, pounds of rocks, but you can take rocks with you. One of the few places in the United States you can do that. This is an old volcano area. And I hear jasper is common, and that's my favorite stone, so. And if that road, you see straight ahead over there, there are two more trails that way, Spring Canyon, but you cannot take rocks from there. But there are some pretty amazing hikes with some really nice views. Probably a little bit more challenging than what I'm doing today. This rock everywhere is so beautiful. Look. The swirls in it. There's a lot of orange back there, which I think is Jasper. I'm looking for a geode, but just look at these. As if I didn't need something else to slow me up. But I am looking for a geode. This area has these, some are shinier than others, is black stones. And I swear, that one looks like a giant geode, but I don't know. This is the area of the black. It looks like charcoal. We have been going up. But I wanted to show you the rock I'm talking about. Look how pretty. And we go on up. Here's the top of the Jasper Trail. And then we go down and we catch the Thunder Egg Trail. Campground straight ahead. Dimming beyond. I made it down from there. And now I'm going on the Thunder Egg Trail. Convenient privy right there. Home sweet home. It's over there on that hill. The gray one. So if you're traveling across New Mexico on Interstate 10, this is about 10 miles off of Interstate 10, 9, 13, somewhere around there. They have 10 sites. There's some over there for just $10 a night. And you can hike. Our V sites are 14, 30 amp and water. Those are primitive though, the tent sites. <sighs> I think for the rest of this hike, I'm just gonna enjoy the ride. And took a little side trail. That's where I came from. On the other side of that hill, there is the road going up to Spring Canyon. And there's a bench here. And a little view, I guess. Maybe to view wildlife. <laughs> Somebody broke their hammer trying to get into a geode. <laughs> That's funny. I'm not making it very far. 
There was so many pretty rocks right back there, all different colors. I'll never get done. I've got to get all the way around back over there on the other side of the campground. That's where I'll come out. It's a glorious day. It is like 70 ish, sunny, breezy. Hello, campground. Perfect day to be on a trail. Check this one out. If you can see, it is so crystally. Winding my way down. Started over there, straight ahead. Beyond the campground, there's the visitor center. Went around that hill. Came up over there, there's a bench. There's a bench there. We're just hugging the hillside. Slow going, looking at rocks. I anticipate this whole trip is going to be about two and a half miles ish. So I'm getting close to the campground. This just winds on around here. And I'll all come out right there in the campground. Good morning from Lover's Leap Trail here at Rockhound State Park. It is so pretty here. This trail is two, about two and a half miles round trip. Let's just go ahead and say. It is very steep in some parts. And I'm here to say that if it is too steep and I don't like it, I'm going to turn around and go back. But otherwise, I'm going to enjoy this hike. So there's nothing as disconcerting as uh, meeting a couple in the parking lot who ask if you have pepper spray with you. And I'm like, why? What's up there? Well, there are mountain lions, but they probably have enough to eat. And they probably wouldn't bother you just time, this time of day. So I don't know if they were trying to be sincere. <laughs> or if they're like trying to tease me. Because I think I've seen people do that before. You know, they think that I'm going to... They, you know, there's rattlesnakes. Okay. There's alligators. Yep. <laughs> but now, mountain lion. Yeah, that did give me a pause. But I'm just gonna be careful, be alert. I mean, look at the cliffs, the rock. The view. So basically, it is a mile up and a mile down. <laughs> Glorious weather. Nice breeze. Now, the view down, I think, is probably the most scenic. Although once I cross this saddle, I should get a view on the other side, I'm thinking. So there's a hard road to get here. This is three miles from the campground, Rockhound State Park campground. But there is a 17% grade on the hard road to get here, which was scary the first time, but then after that, I was like, oh, okay. I think it's not being able to see where the road goes. <sighs> there are sheep up here. They're ibex. <sighs> and they're hard to spot. Well, probably because they're like the fawn colored that just kind of blends in with the environment. But... 
I'm looking. Apparently now I'm looking for mountain lions too. <laughs> There's the parking lot where I started. It has been 20 minutes about. Not bad. So far, I mean, it's steep. And it'll be slow going down just because of all the loose rocks. But nothing horrible yet. Then look behind me. You might can see, like kind of right in the middle, is kind of where I am, was where I started. Still gradual, some steep parts, but not long. Doable so far in my 3D rating of trails from Let's see, what were they? Doable, difficult, and dangerous. So I think going down is gonna be difficult because of the loose rocks and the steep steepness here and there. But doable difficult. I don't think it's dangerous yet. <laughs> I'm not seeing dangerous. I love these um, one mile, two mile, three mile walks because I can do the morning dog walk, get my day started, go out for a little bit and have a nice hike be back in time for the next dog walk and the rest of the day so in some places up here it does kind of level off which is nice <sighs> for the time to catch your breath I promise you from down there this saddle doesn't look that big I'm stopping every now and then to look for the sheep. They look like a longhorn sheep. They have like curly horns. But oh, so far, nothing. You can see the trail down there. Came up over here somewhere. And it looked like it went straight up, but it was all washed out. There was a trail that went this way that has been doing like little switchbacks. I ended up way over there. And now I'm coming this way. So we noticed a discrepancy in the mileage. The one sign said nine tenths of a mile. Nine tenths of a mile. That'd be less than two miles round trip. But the other two documents say the park map and the sign say 2.3, 2.36, whatever. So I think the difference is that original mileage was when the, it came straight up the mountain. And I think they have added switchbacks. That's what I think, hello butterfly. Or I'm on an animal trail and completely lost right now. But two things that make me believe I'm on a developed trail. One, there were notches in the rocks back there. And two limbs had been cut off. So that tells me that uh, this is probably a reroute. Whew. If you are afraid of heights, uh, this might rate difficult. If you fall, like right here, it's not going to be a good thing. But most places where I could fall, it w I'd get stickers, that's it. But if you are someone who's afraid of heights, it's a little bajiggity up here. So here at the one mile rock mark, yep, this is where the trail, that's a steep trail that everybody complains about. 
take the switchbacks. There's our starting point way down there. Oh my gosh. And these things I've been looking up to all this time, now I'm as high as they are, these rock formations. And I'm cresting this area. This might be the, the end. I think it might be. It is. Well, because, okay, I didn't have service, so I started my app after I had been hiking for a minute. Might be a little off because I, did, I had to wait till I had service and I was up the mountain a little bit before I had service. It's not that much more. One, one mile and change. So I guess if you're gonna hike on a trail called Lover's Leap, you will expect to go up, right? So you probably can't hear me, but I just have to show how awesome it is. That's so crazy. Woo! Looks like it's gonna blow me off the mountain. Okay, I get up here and there's like sort of a trail going that way. I'm like, yeah, I don't think I want to do that because we're getting some pretty good drop-offs right here. So I pulled up my All Trails app. Yeah, I think the trail did end back up over there where I said, oh, wait, there's more. No, but it wasn't bad getting here and this is a, a nice little spot. So just a little over a mile to get here. Beautiful views. I know we're 35 miles from Mexico. All right, we'll then chillax a minute and then head back down. See the caves up there? The cave. If I were a mountain lion, that's where I'd hang out. They say the views on the way down are really nice. So it's the little gravel that can send you flying and then throw in loose rocks. In some places there's a lot of loose, bigger rocks. So, see, like that right there. <clears throat> Staying upright is the goal. There's a cave up there that like a little indentation that looks like it's been carved out. So crazy. Nature is amazing. And I don't think I mentioned that there's some shade along this trail. That's refreshing. Here and there, not much. But if you just wanted to hike, well, I'd say 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes. You'll come to all the washes and it's cool and shady and there's rocks. You could have a little snack there and then go back. I am here in October. It's October 21st today. Cool, nice nights. 40s, 50s, nice days. 70s, today's supposed to get to 80, but it's been being in the 70s. Yes, I appreciate the switchbacks. <laughs> They're amazing. The trees are so cool. Every time I get my camera out. Go for a little slide. Um, poles help. Forgot to mention that. They aid immensely in staying upright. They are for people who like to stay upright. <laughs> and take some wear and tear off their joints. So that when they are old, they can do this. 
I met a couple in their 40s at Mesa Verde. And they're like, oh my gosh, we wish we'd have brought our trekking poles with us. They make such a difference. We didn't think we'd need them. Yeah, they make a difference. I too have said that. Oh, I don't need them for this hike. Well, so far coming down is a lot easier than I thought it would be. This is a delightful walk. It is rated moderate on the map. I think it's also rated moderate on all trails. So I would say that's fair just because of the elevation gain. And, and there are a lot of loose rocks. I love hiking where there's rocks. You might say, I love rocks. Definitely beautiful. So scenic on the way back. But I thought it was scenic on the way up. <laughs> Today's hike is a spring canyon trail here at Rockhound State Park in New Mexico. It's right there. One mile round trip. Still looking for the elusive IBEX. How do you say that? Abex? Sheep. From Iran that live here. And in a very short while, here I am. At the top of that little hill. Looks like an old uh, picnic area here. I'm assuming I'm on the trail. There's supposed to be like a, a loop area somewhere along here. Came up from that direction. I see picnic tables over there. So I was just following this road around, see? I'm like, okay, I wonder if this is a campground, a picnic area. Somewhere a spur should shoot off of this kind of half circle that I'm going on. So I stopped here to take my jacket off, my uh, flannel shirt. <laughs> and I looked, I caught this, I walked right by it. It's kind of off to the side. It's very overgrown spring canyon trail, about a half a mile to the spring. But see, <laughs> if you don't know to look to the right, you're not going to see it. So now we're off the road and going to the spring. I don't know if it's active this time of year or not. We shall see. This looks like a just an old two-lane road, a mountain road. Do you see an arrow up here? Still going up. It's my look behind me. Just across the dry creek bed. Apparently this one is up all the way too. <laughs> I didn't check the elevation. But you do have shade. Giant rocks here and there. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's the wash is down there. I mean, any of these hikes, you don't have to do the whole hike to get the benefit. It's not like a lot of times you have to climb the mountain to get the view. No. 
this, you get the view the entire trip. There's my view behind me. But I'm looking in this area. Looks like you should see some type of wildlife and all this brush, right? close and personal with the cliffs. So there's that. This is my view in front of me. It's so still out here. I'm not sure if this is going to be any quicker. It's supposed to be one mile round trip. But it was four tenths of a mile from the turnoff back there. So that means it's eight tenths of a mile and I want to do the <clears throat> six tenths of a mile loop, which I've probably done a little bit of it, maybe two or three tenths. So it'll be a little, little bit longer, not really that much longer. But now I'm curious about the history of this area. Was it a picnic area? Is it an old campground? Right before I came on this spur here, there were like two old foundations of something. Whoa! This is like, I don't know, I want to say that it almost feels more intense than yesterday. And Lover's Leap Trail is up all the way. I think that might be the difference. The other one would switch back now and then or go, you know, have a flatter area. This is like up. I saw one snake. It's like a striped snake, striped racer. Look at all these grasshoppers are uh, making noise. Here you go. Hear it? or stickers. This might be as close as I can get. End of the line. Also according to all trails, I did pull out all trails because the trail was like disappearing. <clears throat> and I have been seven tenths of a mile. So It'd probably be about a two mile trek, this little journey. Very overgrown trail right through here. So at this point, let me weed my way back through. on it goes. <laughs> ah, the trail. I'll look out for pokey things. And here's a peak of the view going downhill. It is downhill. I <laughs> mean, look at that. So the elevation gain for this trail is 538 feet. Yesterday when I got back I checked on my map app and the elevation gain was 800 feet. 808. That was a Lover's Leap Trail. So Lover's Leap 800-ish. Spring Canyon Trail 
500-ish. It's so downhill. <laughs> and so many loose rocks. It's actually, I believe, more treacherous coming down this Spring Canyon Trail than it was coming down the Lover's Leap Trail that has a warning for steep steepness. Smells so good. Inhale, nature. Inhale, nature. All right, making our way back down. Here are the structures, the foundations. I don't know if they were a building, picnic area. I don't know. But One on each side of the trail as it heads up to the spring here at Spring Canyon. And we're going steadily down. Let me catch the that little horseshoe loop. See where it goes. And then get on with the other things I have to do today. Just rounded the bend on the horseshoe part of it. I'm thinking this comes out just a little bit from the main trailhead. I could look at the map, but meh. It takes all the fun out of it, right? But still a very scenic walk. I mean, wow, 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 wow. 360 de bleh, 360 degree views your entire walk except when you're watching where you put your feet looking out for snakes and try not to step on lizards and grasshoppers there it is this must be picnic table platforms or tent platforms. There's another foundation and there's a picnic table. I just saw a little squirrel up there hanging out, but he didn't wait for me to get my camera out. Is this going to get me out of here? <laughs> oh my god, it's a dead end. There's a rooftop right there. Picnic area. <laughs> the end of Spring Canyon Trail. Trying to get to where it's not as windy. <laughs> but anyway, if you can hear me, hopefully the wind isn't too bad. So these are the trails at Rockhound State Park in New Mexico. The campground's really nice. It's simple. $10 for tent campers, $14 for RVers with electric, or if you want to just camp in your tent with electric. Uh, clean, nice folks. And there's trails that are not that long. This one's probably the longest at 2.3 miles-ish. And then um, I did the Spring Canyon Trail and the Thunder Egg Trail and the Jasper Trail. <laughs> All right. And there, are, in the Thunder Egg Trail and the Jasper Trail, you can pick up your very own rocks there and take them with you. So that's really cool. Not here though. Not at um, Spring Canyon. And I rate the trails so far as doable doable. The only difficult thing that's going to be is going down this and the steep parts, but 100% doable. This is Gator. Do all you can while you can and get outside and go play. Happy trails!